uh, once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve November 2023 university question paper under the subject risk management. In this video, we are going to basically solve all the practical problems that had appeared in November 2023 university paper under the subject risk management. Again, a very important video for all the TYBMS M5 students. So in this basically in this paper we had three problem sum that had appeared. So we will be checking out how to solve those three problem sum in the most simplest manner. So chalo, let us see one by one. First question was question 2P. Given below are the returns of Sona Limited under various economic condition. They have given us the economic condition which is boom, low, stagnation and recession. They are giving you the probability and they are giving you the return and they are asking us to find Calculate the expected return and standard deviation of Sun Limited. So now very first thing we need to first note down the table. So the table columns will have economic condition, probability, returns, P into R, R minus ER, R minus ER square and R, P into R minus ER square. Now that we'll see later on what are the use of those columns. But first basically we need to first note down the economic condition. Okay, which is boom, low, stagnation and recession. We note on the probability which is 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.3 and 0 0.2. Next is return 7, 10, 14, 19. So we note it down. Now we need to find P into R. The next column which is basically needed to find the expected return. Okay, so in order to find expected return, we need to multiply P into R. So that's 0 0.25 into, 0, uh, into 7, 0 0.25 into 10, 0 0.3 into 14 and 0 0.2 into 19. So we get the respected values after multiplying as 1.75, 2.5, 4.2 and 3.8. Then the total of which comes to 12.25. This is nothing but the total ER. That is nothing but the expected return. So the expected return is the summation of ER which is 12.25%. So that's the first answer that they wanted us to find that is 12.25% as the expected return. Once we found the expected return, now we'll have to find the next column that is R minus ER. That is all the values of returns. Okay, minus the expected return. So 7 minus 12.25, 10 minus 12.25, 14 minus 12.25, 19 minus 12.25. Okay, so when you multiply you get negative 5.25, negative 2.25, 1.75 and 6.75. Once we have multiplied the next column that is required is the square of them. So negative 5.25 ka square, uh, negative 2.25 ka square, 1.75 ka square and 6.75 ka square which comes to you know 27.5625, 5 uh, 3.0625, uh, 45.56. Okay, once now once you get the current last thing what we require is we have to multiply that with the probability so it will be like 27.5625 into 0 0.25 5.625 into 0 0.25 3.0625 into 0 0.3 and 45.86 into 0 0.2 okay so which we get the values at 6.89 1.26 0 0.918 and 9.11 the total of which comes to 11.178 now that is the total is nothing but the variance ka total okay which you require to get, find the standard division now standard division ka formula is the root of variance okay which is equal to the sigma of uh, p into r minus r er square which is the root of 18.178 which comes to 4.25 therefore uh, with that we done with this sum so our expected return was 12.25 and our standard deviation came to 4.26 Okay, chalo, I hope everyone have understood that. Okay, chalo, you all can go through it once. Okay, now the next question was question 2Q. You are required to calculate the beta factor for Moon Limited. They are giving you the years, they are giving you the market, uh, sorry, security return and the market return. Okay. 
Now, in order to solve beta, first we need to make the table in which we have year RS that is the return of security RM market return. Next is RS minus RS bar RM minus RM bar RS minus RS bar into RM minus RM bar and last RM minus RM bar the whole square. So these are the various columns that are required to solve. Okay. First thing we need to note down the years which is one, two, three, four, and five. Then we need return on security that is 13, 14, 15, 13 and 12. Total comes to 67. The 67 total is very important. Okay. Next, 15, 16, 17, 14, 12 as market return. Total comes to 74. Okay. Now once you all have got the returns, okay, the when you are noted on the return and got the total, the very next thing that we'll have to find will be the average. We need to find RS bar and RM bar. So RS bar is nothing but the total of RS upon 5 so 67 upon 5 which comes to 13.4 and 74 upon 5 which comes to 14.8 okay once we have got uh, the the averages now we can go ahead with the next so that is rs minus rs bar that is all the value of rs minus the rs bar so it will be 13 14 15 13 12 all of them minus with 13.4 Okay, so it will be 13 minus 13.44, which comes to negative 0 0.4, then negative, sorry, then it comes to 0 0.6, 1.6, negative 0 0.4, and negative 1.4. Okay, now same way we have to find for the next RM minus the RM bar. So all the values of RM, that is 15, 16, 17, 14, and 12, we minus with RM bar. After subtracting, like so it will be 15 minus RM bar, 12 minus RM bar, 17 minus 14 minus, and 12 minus the RM bar. Once you minus the respected value that you will get will be 0 0.2, 1.2, 2.2, negative 0 0.8 and negative 2.8. The next column, after getting that, the next column is we need to find the product of these two columns. RS minus RS bar into RM minus RM bar. Okay, so negative 4 into 0 0.2 will give you negative 0 0.08. 0 0.6 into 1.2 gives you 0 0.72. 1.6 into 2.2 gives you 3.52, negative 0 0.4 into negative 0 0.8 gives you 0 0.32, negative 1.4 into negative 2.8 gives you 3.92, the total comes to 8.4. So in how you got this, basically the value of 8.4, we add up all the totals, okay, all the positive values, that is 3.92, 3, 0.32, 3.52 and 0 0.72. So first we add up the total positive values okay and then we minus that positive with negative 0 0.08 and we should get the value as 8.4 okay if you all can try it you add up all the positive values 0 0.72 3.52 0 0.32 and 3.92 subtract negative 0 0.08 from it and you will be getting the value as 8.4 okay now the next column is RM minus RM bar the whole square. So 0 0.2 ka square that is 0 0.04, 1.2 is 1.44, 2.2 is 4.84, negative 0 0.8 will be positive 0 0.64. Remember square of any number is always positive. Negative 2.8 will give you 7.84 and the total of which comes to 14.8. Now the last two totals are the most important which you need to carry forward in the problem. So once you have got both those values, the next thing that we need to find is called as covariance. Okay, so covariance is nothing but the formula is sigma RS minus RM bar, RS bar into RM minus RM bar the whole, uh, the whole thing upon N minus 1. So 8.4 upon 5 minus 1, that is 8.4 upon 4, we get the value as 2.1. Once you have got covariance, the next thing that we need to find is standard deviation square M. That means the total of RM minus RM bar the whole square. So that is upon N minus 1. So 14.4 upon 5, 5 minus 1. 14.8 upon 4 which comes to the next value 3.7. After getting both these we need to find the beta formula is covariance upon standard deviation square M. So that is 2.1 upon 3.7 which comes to 0 0.87. Okay, so this is how you all have to solve the sum based on beta. Okay, now with this, uh, we have only one last sum pending, which is based on uh, fair premium. So let us see how to solve the last sum from this particular question paper.
Okay, now let us read the next question. It's given that the expected losses are given in the table. Loss values are 50,000, 10,000 and 0 and the probabilities are 0 0.3, 0 0.6 and 0 0.1. Find the fair premium if the policy coverage is full and underwriting is 12% of your premium claims are paid at the end. Interest rate is 8%. The expected claim cost is 900 and the fair profit is 10% of pure premium. Okay, let us see how to solve this again in the same order. We are going, we are not going to change any steps exactly in the same step. Okay, Chalo, let us start. First, we need to find the sum of all uh, the losses. Okay, along with their probability. So 50,000 into 0 0.30 plus 10,000 into 0 0.60 now 50,000 so let, let us start with the multiplication part so it will be 50,000 into 0 0.3 that comes to 15,000 and 10,000 into 0 0.6 which comes to uh, 6,000 so 15 plus 6 is 21,000 so our pure premium for the entire sum is 21,000 so we need to find the expe PV of expected claim so that will be 21,000 divided by 1 plus the interest Now interest is given as 8 percent so it will become 0 0.8 so on the calculator 21,000 divided by 1.08 the value that we should get is 19,444.44 so 19,444.44 our first value now second we need to note down the underwriting cost now underwriting cost they said 12 percent of fair premium so 12 percent into 21,000 so 12 percent of 21,000 again on the calculator 12,000 into 12 percent which comes to uh, sorry it's 21,000 so 21,000 into 12 percent which comes to 2520 so 2520 expected claim processing cost now given in the question under adjustment number uh, e is 900 so we note down this as 900 so expected admin is 2520 plus 900 okay which comes up to okay 3420 Now 3420 we need to find the PV factor uh, PV cost of so that 2420 into 1.08 so on the calculator 2420 divided by 1.08 it comes to 3166.666 so we will take a 67 so 3166.67 okay that's our second PV third we need to find the fair profit percentage given in the question is 10% so 10% of 21,000 that comes to 2,100 and the PV of expected will become 2,100 divided by 1.08 okay so again on the calculator 2,100 divided by 1.08 we get the answer is 1,944.44 1,944.44 plus Fair premium, so the first value was 19,444.44 plus 3166.67 plus 1944.44. When we add up, okay, on the calculator, so we'll take that 1944.44 plus 3166.67 plus 1944.44. The value that we should get is 5, okay, uh, the first value was actually 19,000, so 19,444. 0.44 plus 31.66.67 plus 1944.44 the value that we should get is 24,555.55 so that will be a final answer 24,555.55 okay so this is how we had to solve the third sum